Hey, Math 10Cs. Today we're going to look at factoring simple trinomials, or they're in the form x squared plus bx plus c. So the first thing we're going to look at is algebra tiles. So the first thing it asks us to do here is write the polynomial expression, which is represented by these algebra tiles. So this is an x squared. These are all x's. And these are all 1's. So the polynomial expression represented by this set of algebra tiles is 1x squared plus 6x plus 8. Now the algebra tiles can be arranged into a rectangle as shown below. And wants us to write an expression for the length of the rectangle and the width and the area and so on. So here's the length. This is x by 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is x by 2. So the length is x plus 4. The width is x plus 2. The area would be, out of the stuff up, x squared plus 6x plus 8. Or, if I want to write it out as a formula, area is width times length, x plus 4 times x plus 2. It says write an expanded form, so I can expand out that those two binomials. x times x is x squared, x times 2x, x times 4x, and 4 times 2. So what this means is, if I've got the area x squared plus x plus x squared plus 6x plus 8, it means the same thing as x plus 2 times x plus 4. So this statement can be written as x plus 2 times x plus 4. This is factored. This is the expanded. So we can use algebra tiles to factor polynomials. So write the polynomial expression represented by the algebra tiles listed here. So I've got 1x squared I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 x's and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4 singles. So there's our polynomial expression. Now it says arrange the algebra tiles into a rectangle and write an expression for the length and width of the rectangle. So using these shapes come up with a rectangle and if you can come up with a rectangle then you will have factored it. So why don't you give it a try. So this would be the rectangle I came up with. All right, I've used 1x squared. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x's, and I've got my four singles. So once I've arranged them in a rectangle, I'll write an expression for the length and the width. So here's my length, x plus 4. Here's my width, x plus 1. And use the results to express the polynomial in factored form. So my original polynomial was all those tiles, x squared, plus 5x plus 4, and then in factored form would be the length and width of this rectangle, x plus 4 times x plus 1. Write the polynomial expression, which is represented by these algebra tiles. So let's do the same thing again. I want you guys to draw a rectangle and then express a polynomial in factored form. So here's my rectangle. I've got my 1x squared, positive. I have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 negative x squareds. Then I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 positive 1s. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the original polynomial is x squared minus 7x plus 12. In factored form, it's the length and width of the shape. So x plus 4 not true, but close. These are negatives. x minus 4 and x minus 3. So there's my factors. x minus 4 times x minus 3. So as long as you can rearrange the algebra tiles into a rectangle, the length and width will be the factors of your polynomial. All right. Let's look at factoring trinomials by inspection. So in order to factor, we have to remember how to expand. So this question is asking us to expand the following binomials. 
So remember, each term in the first binomial gets multiplied, each term in the second one, x times x, x times 3, 3 times x, and 3 times 3. Combine like terms, those middle terms are like 3x plus 3x is 6x. Do the same thing for the next one. x times x, x times 7, x times 1, and 1 times 7. And again, combine the middle terms, 7x plus 1x is 8x. The next one, x times x, x times 2, 5 times x, and 5 times 2. And again, the middle terms are like, so 2x plus 5x is 7x. And we've expanded those binomials. The next one, x times x, x times negative 2, negative 5 times x, and negative 5 times negative 2. And one more time, the middle terms are like, negative 2x minus 5x and negative 7x. We're done expanding. The last one, x times x is x squared, x times 6, negative, 8 times x positive, and 8 times negative 6. Combine the like terms. Negative 6x plus 8x is a positive 2x. We get minus 48. So, consider the expansion of x plus p times x plus q. We get x squared plus bx plus c. If we look at the examples above, all those ones we just did, the value of b and the values of p and q are, are um, connected somehow. Let me explain how they're connected. Well, if I expand this out, what do I get? x squared plus qx plus px. So b is qx plus px, or b is p plus q. All right? Those are the like terms, qx and px. Add those together. So p plus q will give us the value of the coefficient of x. And the value of c is going to be p times q. So c is always p times q. So use FOIL to show that this can be written in that form. We just did that. All right, expand that out. x times x, x times q, p times x, and p times q. And we've done some common factoring already. If I look at the common factor of those two terms in the middle, I can factor out an x, and I'm left with q plus p. So same thing here. Those mean the same thing. The middle term is a sum of the constant terms in the binomials. The last term is the product of the constant terms in the binomials. So factoring x squared plus bx plus c by inspection. Here's our method every single time. In order to factor a simple trinomial in this form, x squared plus bx plus c, we need to find two integers which have a product equal to the last term c and a sum equal to the middle term b. If no two integers exist, then it can't be factored. So in order to factor x squared plus 8x plus 12, we need to find two numbers that multiply, multiply to 12, and have a sum of 8. So what two numbers do we know that multiply to 12 and add to 8? Well, those two numbers are 6 and 2. In order to factor the next one, what two numbers have a product of 12, they multiply to 12, and a sum of negative 13, or they add to negative 13. So what two numbers multiply to 12, add to negative 13? Well, those two numbers are negative 12 and negative 1. So let's practice that skill right now. What two numbers multiply to 20, add to 12? 2 times 10 is 20, 2 plus 10 is 12. What two numbers add to 9, multiply to 20? Well, 4 plus 5 is 9, 4 times 5 is 20. Let's complete this chart. Where you go. So 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 4. Um, negative 6 plus negative 3 is 9, negative 6 times negative 3 is 18. Negative 14 plus negative 1 is negative 15. Negative 14 times negative 1 is 14. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Uh, five, uh, 5 plus negative 3 is 2. 5 times negative 3 is 15. 
And finally, negative 24 plus negative 2 is negative 26. Negative 24 times negative 2 is 48. So this little stop sign, read through that. For the remainder of the lesson, we will only deal with examples where the product's positive, but next, exam next lesson we'll learn about the negative cases. All right, so let's factor the following trinomials where possible. We've done lots of expanding. We know to get a trinomial, we're going to need two binomials. We know the only way to get x squared is to put an x in the front of each bracket. And now I ask myself that statement we just had in the last little box. What two numbers have a sum of 8 and a product of 12? So the two things that add to 8 and multiply to 12 are 6 and 2, and they're both positive. So there are factors, x plus 6 times x plus 2. If you expand that out, we'll get x squared plus 8x plus 12. Look at part B. Make your two binomials. The only way to get to x squared is to have an x in the front of each bracket. Ask yourself, what two numbers have a sum of 13 and a product of 12? Those numbers are positive 1 and positive 12. 1 plus 12 is 13. 1 times 12 is 12. Part C. Put an x in the front of each bracket. What two numbers have a sum of negative 13 and a product of 12? Well, those are minus 12 and minus 1. All right? Part D, make your two sets of brackets. It's a simple trinomial, so you put an A in the front. A times A is A squared. Ask yourself, what two numbers sum to negative 11? Multiply to 10. Those two numbers are minus 10 and minus 1. Same thing for E. Make your two sets of brackets. The only thing to multiply to Y squared is Y times Y. What two numbers sum to 3? Multiply to 4. Well, those two numbers that multiply, add to 3 and multiply to 4, there are none. No two numbers add to 3 and multiply to 4, so we would say this can't be factored. Not possible. All right. F. Make two sets of brackets. The only thing that multiplies to x squared is x times x. What two numbers have a sum of 27 and a product of 50? Well, 25 plus 2 is 27. 25 times 2 is 50. So we're done factoring that quickly. If we go to the next step, now let's remove a common factor. So what we learned the last couple of days is always look for a common factor. So these three terms have a common factor of 4. So I divide every term by 4. I get x squared minus 8x plus 12. And now I look at the trinomial that's left, and it's a simple trinomial, like we were just factoring above. The only thing that multiplies to x squared is x times x. What two numbers sum to 8 and sum to negative 8 and multiply to 12? Those numbers are minus 6 and minus 2. There are your factors. 4 times x minus 6 times x minus 2. Same thing for part b. Look for a common factor. 3x cubed plus 20x squared plus 30x has a common factor of 3x. Divide every term by 3x. And I get x squared plus 7x plus 10. I look in the brackets and I notice that that is a simple trinomial. So I can factor the method we've been looking at. Only two things multiply to x squared. That's x times x. Then we ask ourselves, what two numbers have a sum at 7 and a product of 10? Those numbers are positive 5 and positive 2. Done factoring. All right. That's factoring simple trinomials. I'd like you guys to try questions 1 through 15, every single one of them. Away you go.